Uh, welcome to this session, uh, and uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, my name is Hirotaka Motai. Uh, this session is uh, real time testing Fue Fuego with Fuego, sorry. Uh, here is a basic uh, outline of what I want to talking about today. Uh, firstly, I'm going to, inter going to introduce myself. Uh, secondly, I'm talking about uh, overview of this session. After that, I'm going to uh, move on to three related tools. And then uh, I will show you, uh, uh, show you our issue and, and approach with uh, our use case. And finally, I will conclude uh, this session. And uh, we will have a time to, for questions. So uh, I will just to introduce myself. Uh, so my, uh, my name is Hirotaka Motai. Uh, I'm a researcher uh, for embedded systems at Mitsubishi Electric Corporation. And our group provides Linux and hypervisor and uh, related technologies for uh, various products. Uh, my research focuses on real-time uh, real -time system and automated testing. So we've started uh, jo to join the Linux Foundation project uh, like LTSI and AGL and Fuego since uh, 2015. Uh, sorry, 2015. And let's move on to overview. So uh, recently, uh, Linux can be adapted to various embedded devices, uh, kind of a controller, a navigation system, and so on. Uh, even though they need hard real-time response, in other words, uh, predictable latency. Uh, we need ton of time to endure, endure adequate performance of real time before, uh, sorry, uh, because real time application needs to satisfy timing constraint. And they should avoid kernel changes, which might cause long delays. So it's my suggestion. I have, a, I have a changed a new, uh, sorry, I have developed a new script on Fuego. It can measure the real-time performance and get tracing at the same time. So we will, we will hint, uh, we will get a hint to isolate the program whether the delay was caused by our changes or not. So in this session, I'm talking about the detail of a new test script. So next is related tools. Uh, I'm going to introduce uh, the Fugo. You know, uh, there are a lot of open source software test and test frameworks. Uh, Fuego is uh, one of the test frameworks. Uh, the reason why we have chosen the Fuego is that Fuego is uh, created by LTSI project uh, testing, uh, based on Jenkins. Uh, if you have uh, experience of Jenkins, you could be easy to use the Fuego. And you can also uh, customize, customize it. And second reason is that Fuego is open source software, so anyone can use it and also can uh, contribute it. Uh, additionally, uh, automotive grade Linux project, AGA project, chosen uh, just Fuego as a standard test environment. It's called 
AGLJTA. So anyway, uh, Fuego is a kind of uh, a host, sort of host test, host test distribution plus a bunch of uh, host scripts and tests packed, sorry, test packed along with uh, Jenkins and uh, Jenkins interface all inside the Docker cont container. Fuego has a built system due to the uh, architecture neutral and inherently cross-platform. Uh, each test program uh, built from source code and Fuego also uh, has script for test orchestration and result passing and analysis for the test result record. Uh, Fuego can carry out specific tests uh, automatically uh, that is triggered by software updates. In this case, uh, I notice you it is necessary to do, to write a script to link both of them. And okay, uh, there is a screenshot of Jenkins. Uh, you can see a part of test of in Fuego. Uh, right now, Fuego has about. 150 different test suites, and, and some of them uh, not Fuego specific tests, but most of them uh, are lapas and exist uh, lapas and existing tests like Drystone, Boni, uh, Hackbench, and so on. Uh, Fuego has a lapa for building. Uh, deploying, uh, learning, and correcting the results for each test. And it also has a parser, so whatever the test has wired output uh, that can correct information and put it in a standard, standardized, standardized output format, sorry. Uh, a web, web, web control interface for starting, starting, yeah, it's easy, yeah. Starting and monitoring and checking the result, checking their results. It's doing virtualization on it. And you can see, uh, uh, you can also check the historical results on the web interface. Uh, so next related to is cyclic tests. It is included in RT test project, RT test and uh, benchmark two to measure internal timer latencies. Uh, if you, it, uh, it is also open source software. You can, you can get the source code from uh, those URL and you can also uh, compile and execute on your target. Uh, you can see two graphs. Uh, left one here is a time series graph. X axis is a number of events, and Y axis is a latency time of each event. And the other graph is a histogram. X axis is a latency time, and Y axis is a count of events feature same latency. So, third related to is F-trace. Uh, F-trace is one of Linux kernel features. It is a, a gener generic tracing system to get maintained in 2.6.27. We can trace internal flows of the kernel without recompiling. It is useful for data gathering, debugging, and performance tuning. If you want to know the detail, you can read the document that. And uh, I think uh, there are a lot of uh, sessions in e ELC also. 
So this example is a result of function tracer. Uh, the function tracer is a one of F, uh, one of features of ftrace. Uh, you can see FAT process was executing, FAT CPU it was executing on, when it was e executing, and FAT function it was calling. And you can also check the check the kernel status like that. So let's move on to issue. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, this is a, uh, uh, you might, you could not see all of the results, but uh, here is a, sorry. Here is a, a result of cyclic test benchmark. And the graph shows the historical results, uh, maximum latency. And you can see a big problem here. And I guess, uh, I, I, I think uh, fast change has occurred that day. Was the delay occurred by our changes or by potential performance issue? So as my suggestion, I think it is necessary to trace during measuring, uh, during measurement, sorry, and to save a trace log to isolate the problem. So I'll like show you um, our approach. Fuego can execute a script test on target. So I have made a test script to the following things on the target via SSH. Firstly, it set up function, uh, sorry, it set up ftrace configuration for example, it clear link buffer and set current tracer and so on. And secondly, it run stress programs. It make a uh, kind of situation as, as same as our application. And after that, it run cyclic test to measure the real time performance. And finally, uh, it's, <clears throat> sorry, finally, it gets a cyclic test log and a F-trace data from the F-trace entry on the target. So recently, uh, cyclic test has a option, break trace, break time. That will stop tracing when the when the latency is over than break time. So the, the script use the break time option and we try to get a trace data in the worst case. But unfortunately, the break time, uh, the break time option we stop not only tracing, but also testing. Uh, here is a function, trace mark, that we stop tracing. And the shutdown variables will be used, used later if the cyclic test should stop or not. So we can get a Result and the F trace data, but the record, the result might not be the worst case. So actually, F trace has a good feature to remain the log 
in the kernel, uh, kernel buffer as we want. It's a snapshot future. It is easy to easy how to take a snapshot, writing value to the snapshot entry. After each log is saved in the snapshot buffer in the kernel quickly, and the snapshot log will be overwritten when the program takes a snapshot again. So I have modified cyclic test to save a maximum latency value and take a snapshot each time when the maximum value latency is updated. And measurement after measurement, uh, the snapshot log in the target, in the worst case, will be remained and we can get the log and the data. So I'd like to share our actual use case. Uh, this is a detail of our environment, uh, uh, sorry, our evaluation environment. Our aim is to make the influence to real-time priority process by as a non-real-time process clear. So we have used cyclic tests. I have modified and stress energy program to make several stressful environments. A target board I have used is Minoboard Tabot. It has an Intel processor with two cores. And the OS is Debian GNU Linux 9.5 core stretch with the latest ATSI kernel. So stress energy at tool to load and stress a target system. Uh, it has a stressor a lot of, for a lot of components. For example, CPU loop and fork, timer, sync, create directory entry, file lock and unlock, and so on. I notice in you uh, that extreme scenarios feature made by stress energy unlikely to happen in real life. In real life. Anyway, uh, the number of stressor is a uh, stressor of stress energy has uh, roughly 200. I, I guess so many. And this slide shows a result of, result of the measurement. So you can see the maximum value is 76.463 millisecond. And this is a snapshot log at the same time, same measurement. And you can see the value here. 76467. This is the same value of uh, measurement. And it sure it is revealed that the snapshot log was recorded in the worst case. So evaluation, uh, we got to the detect the factor by doing a testing, uh, doing a test and tracing at the same time. Fuego helped repeat execution of both. Therefore, we can effectively figure out the reason the, reason of the GA, which using the snapshot load. I think that's conclusion my session. Uh, it is important to enjoy educate performance before releasing products. It is necessary to repeat tests for reproducing 
the rare case. Fitch does not meet real-time performance requirements. Fuego is used, uh, useful to us for not only measurement, but also tracing at the same time. And future works, and I will discuss uh, with Fuego community for editing our test script, which I have shown you. Uh, here is a list of uh, related projects. So thank you for listening. Uh, do you have a question? Yes. Um, ah, pre please come here and so. Yeah, thanks a lot. Um, one question, do you have published your version of cyclic test, which you have modified? I, I uh, m maybe 1.3 point la the cyclic version. A cyclic, so, cyclic test? Uh, Cy you have yeah. published the, the source code of your modifications, or? Yeah, I, yes, yeah. I, will, I will do. You will do? Yeah. Okay, uh, but, uh, some, some but, link or? Yeah. But I, I think uh, it, is, it, it need, uh, I, mm, I need to discuss uh, RT tests uh, or cyclic tests, maintenance, and so, and we, need, uh, we will need to show the uh, effect or uh, merit to add uh, those feature in cyclic test, so I will do that, but uh, when, I'm not sure when my, uh, my modification will be accepted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Can I, can I comment on that? Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> so, just by, just by way of commentary, so uh, you can actually put the patches, though, into Fuego and apply them in the build phase. So uh, you could, if, if upstream won't take them for a while, you can submit them, you can give them to me, and I'll, yeah. I'll take them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yes, please. Did, did any of the timing uh, tracing that you add Add to your latency, or add to the uh, the the timings you were seeing. In other words, did tracing contribute to any uh, performance issues? I see. I see. The uh, tracing feature is uh, uh, what do you want. Uh, so I I I'm I'm not I'm just realize your question, but uh, let me see. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm good, uh, so uh, the influence to enable fu uh, tracing future is uh, so uh, make a performance, performance loss or something like so. But uh, in, in my opinion, uh, if, if the result of te measurement is Okay, uh, it meets uh, our requirements. Uh, so after that, we disable the future. So the, those those environment uh, will be maybe okay also. Mm -hmm. So the, it is important to remain low because uh, worst case, uh, the rare case, especially rare case, is. Uh, difficult to resolve, result or uh, to detect the factor why the delay is about occurred. So we, uh, so I know uh, the uh, balance, but so my suggestion is enable at least future. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you presented one snapshot for uh, the worst case. 
Uh, is there the possibility that multiple snapshots or something like this uh, for, let's say, the 10 worst latencies? Ah, I see, I see. And you can, you can test, uh, you can test this several times, so yeah. you can get uh, several snapshots also. Yeah, but uh, you only patch the l l worst, I think, or, or are they all uh, stored? And add snapshot per uh, one one testing, okay. and yeah. so you need if you if you need uh, several snapshots, so you try to uh, repeat several times, ten okay. times. So yeah. Thank you. Actually, so so if you have many more questions, all over, uh, let's let's discuss after this. So, do you have it? Yes, please. Thank you. And could you share some uh, data about uh, what was what were the typical region to increase the maximum latency, and what was the your re resolution to resolve the maximum latency issue? I see, but uh, unfortunately, I have no law in, in uh, now. Sorry, so okay. sorry. Uh, actually, you, you can you can use that, so you will get the uh, same situation, same rule. And anyone else? Okay, I'm going to finish my session. And thank you for uh, thank you very much for joining.